guys, this is my tutorial on emulator RNG abuse and why you should RNG abuse on an emulator rather than a DS. There's some differences that make it easier to RNG abuse on an emulator and less frustrating to do it on an emulator rather than a DS. So as you see here, I have a packaged RNG emulator abusing package which contains the emulator itself and some apps such as RNG Reporter which helps us find seeds and it's kind of necessary in the RNG process in general. There's also an app called Pokemon RNG Helper which helps us to find our frame we are at currently in game without having to do elm calls or any of that junk. And also I included Pokegen but I'm only using it for exporting our Pokemon to um, our actual cartridge using GTS simulators and all that stuff. I also included an application to Poke transfer your Pokemon theoretically um, to your Gen 5 game, well to a Gen 5 format. It removes all the HMs and um, the items on your Pokemon so you don't have to do it yourself and it's much faster than doing that stupid mini game and the actual Poke transfer function. So as we see here, we also have cheats such as like instant egg generation and a quick egg catch and rebattling legendary codes so you don't have to restart just the RNG of one legendary. So as you see here, there's two EXE files for the emulator, one for 64-bit computers, one for 32-bit computers. To check what type your computer is, just go to your start button, right click computer, Oh yeah, note this is for Windows 7 only. On Windows XP, I actually forgot how you would check, but actually no. Windows XP is by default 32 bit, unless you have the 64 bit version. So, as you see here, we go down to system and system type 64 bit operating system. So, I would use the 64 bit exe file. So now that we went over all the basic stuff like all the stuff in the package oh and as you see here I have the ROM files in my package but I didn't include them in the actual download because it's kind of illegal but whatever and my C files for RNG and all that stuff. Well anyways I guess it's time to start going over the basic concepts.